So two and a half weeks ago, I created a brand new TikTok account, and this account has blown up beyond my wildest dreams. And I'm gonna show you the account here in a little bit. It's a very, very personal account for me, and you're gonna see why later on in this video, why it's so personal to me, and why I'm a little hesitant to reveal it on my YouTube channel to all 40,000 of you guys. I'm also gonna go over how I've been growing this account, and what my strategies are to grow this account, so that way if you wanna create an audience on TikTok, or maybe even an audience on YouTube, or Instagram, you can do so. So let's get into it. This is my best friend in the entire world, and his name is Max. Max is my brother, and he's a year and two weeks younger than me, and he has autism. So behind the scenes the entire time I've had this YouTube channel, my brother Max, who has autism, has been watching me make these videos, and he watches every single video I upload all the way to the end and reads all the comments and has all of your guys' names memorized, which I never told you because Max has a photographic memory. So growing up with Max, he really wasn't able to have friends because he wasn't at the functional level that he's at today. My my brother Max was at a level where it was very hard for him to communicate with people and he would come home after school and I would do therapy with him every day and exercises to help train him to get better and better and better. So going back to YouTube, he sees me making all these YouTube videos. He knows that you guys watch these videos and he thinks that everybody who follows his Facebook page, which he posts content on, is one of his real life best friends because he considers everybody friends because he doesn't have the ability to go hang out with people. He doesn't really have the ability to drive. And so he looks at every person who follows his page as his friend in real life. And it's the cutest thing ever because I look at you guys the same way. I really appreciate all the support that I get out of the channel. So Max has been asking me if he can make content with me because he's my best friend and he's over half the week. He lives with me about half the week and he always sees me making content and he wants to make videos just like me, which it absolutely melts my heart. Um, sorry. <laughs> so Max has been asking me for years to make content. We made content all the way back in 2008. You can see here, here are some clips from me and Max making YouTube videos back in 2008 when we were just 14, 13 years old. But he wants to make content again. I'm like, okay, what kind of content can I make with Max? And I'm like, all right, I'll make a TikTok account with Max. So I make a TikTok account with my brother Max and you see why I was a little hesitant to reveal that um, sort of to this massive audience that I have here. And it's just because it's so personal to me because that's a really deep look into like my inner personal life. And so what I decided to do with Max is I just decided to make videos of the things that I'm already doing with Max. The only difference is I'm holding a camera in my hand. So I just decided to start uploading some videos. And in two and a half weeks of posting pretty seriously on the account, this is the account now. We've gone from zero to over 12,000 followers on TikTok. We just got a viral video out of nowhere with over 1.3 million views in a single day. And it's still climbing. And some of the other older videos have started popping off as well with multiple hundreds of thousands of views. And all of these videos have thousands upon thousands of likes. And my brother Max is absolutely ecstatic over this. Like he is so excited that he's out here making millions of friends he looks at everybody that watched that video as his friend it is the cutest thing ever and I'm so proud of him because he does such a good job in just being himself and being so happy on camera and us as youtubers we have a hard time doing that so how did I grow this account well you know two and a half weeks of me trying to figure out how TikTok works completely because I have a little bit of experience but it wasn't an experience where I was putting a hundred percent effort into it it was more like I had so many other projects going on but I put a lot of my stuff on pause so I I could do this because it makes Max so happy. Once I saw that we even got 100 views on a video, it absolutely just blew his mind. He was so excited. So how did I grow this account? Well, it goes back to the tried and true classic of you need a niche. I have told you guys in pretty much every marketing video that I've made on this channel that you need to pick a niche. And for me, my niche is more of like a lifestyle family vlog with my autistic brother sort of being the center of gravity for the entire content because really in this world, there's nobody like my brother Max. I mean. He's like Rain Man, if you guys have seen that movie. So if you give my brother a date, any date, it could be your birthday, it could be zero BC, he'll tell you what day of the week it is. It's absolutely incredible. He has a photographic memory and he's able to do this. Hey Max, yeah. what day of the week is November 17th, 1962? Saturday. 
So I just decided to, you know, show off my brother and show how cool of an individual he is and how all these other families out there with disabled individuals and their family, like maybe you have a brother, sister, cousin with a disability, how much it means to them to spend time with them. Like how much it makes them feel like a person because if they can't go out and make friends, who do they have? They have their family. And for me, my brother is my best friend. He's my family. So you got to pick that niche. That It just goes back to you got to find something. It doesn't matter what it is, but it's got to be one type of content. In this case, it's a little more generic, which we're very fortunate and lucky with because it can reach a very wide and diverse audience. And also the next thing I noticed posting on TikTok. So tip number two for growing on TikTok is actually, in my opinion, to pay attention to which videos and their length pop off. So which ones do good for you? And then try to recreate videos or come up with ideas that match that sort of time span. So for Max and I's TikTok account, the thing that works for us is videos between 15 and 26 seconds. Those always seem to kind of hit the sweet spot for us. And I did a lot of research on this and that's why I decided to start posting videos in this time range. I've tried short videos of like one, two seconds, three seconds, they don't work. But these ones where people can get emotionally involved in the content and complete the content and give it a long watch duration or view duration or percentage signifies to the TikTok algorithm that it's a good video and then TikTok algorithm will push it to more people, especially if they start engaging with it by commenting, sharing, liking, you know, favoriting, stuff like that. Next is the posting frequency. And this is a question that's asked on literally every single platform. How often do you post? And when do you post for that matter? Well, for me, it doesn't matter when I post, it's just how often I post. So for TikTok, we like to post between two and three times a day. I did skip a day after the viral video because I wanted to make this video and kind of give you guys an actual sort of this is what this video did to this account in the power of one video because that's all you need to pop off on any platform is one video I had my one video on this one as well and now I have all these amazing people who are part of this community and the next thing I learned is how important music and sound effects are to the background of TikToks, just like with YouTube and this is something that I knew could maximize these things and I've taught this before but I really really put it into practice with this sort of content because music and sound effects help people get more unconscious consciously sort of into the content. Like you might not even notice unless you listen right now that I have background music and sounds in this video just all over the place because they tie into the content. So it helps the content that you use it in to get a longer watch duration. It also helps people to get more wrapped up and emotionally involved in it. Therefore, they're more likely to enjoy it. And that's why I'm beyond excited to share with you guys the sponsor of today's video, Epidemic Sound. Now, Epidemic Sound is a platform where you can get music and sound effects that are royalty free, which means you can use them in your content and you won't get flagged, meaning none of your content could get taken down for copyright, which is an absolutely amazing thing. They actually create a lot of the music themselves in house, which is an amazing thing. I've been there and I experienced it myself in Sweden. So they have all sorts of stuff on this platform from music to sound effects to different playlists that you can curate to actually create stuff for your audience because their music on there is actually really good and I'll play it in my car while I'm driving. So now that we know the importance of music and sound effects, I wanna get onto the thumbnails of the videos and the descriptions of the videos. I think these are really important. So I I think having text in the beginning, you can set the duration on TikTok or just edit it yourself in a video editing program is really, really important. You wanna have that sort of text on the screen talking about what the video is and try to make it an engaging title. You're probably gonna wanna look up something called marketing action verbs and there's lists and lists and lists on Google that you can look at. And these are something I used in my marketing career to get people to actually engage with content, click on content, click on ads. And I do the same thing with this YouTube channel and we do the same thing with TikTok. And these are words that you use in your titles and your descriptions that subconsciously activate emotions in people and get them to click on it. So now that we're all the way here and we talked about marketing action verbs, here's the video that went viral on the TikTok that I created with my brother. And you can see right here, I put stealing, which is an action verb and it gets people emotionally involved in the conversation to click on it. I used that in the title and it turned into a viral video. And that's why knowing these action verbs and learning is so important. So let's just play the video. I hope you guys enjoy. Hey, Max. Hey, Max. I stole all your hair. It's mine. It's mine. Put it back. Put back the hair. You want me to put back your hair? Yeah. Hoo -ah. Hoo -ah. Hoo -ah. <laughs>